Idaho. Students with nothing better to do spell a bigoted word using t shirts. Because that's what you go to school to learn. Teens at Idaho High School to face disciplinary action after a disgusting picture of them with t shirts spelling out the N word hits the internet. Six students from Salmon High School in Salmon, Idaho, facing disciplinary measures after being photographed wearing shirts that spelled out the N word. The photo, which was posted on Instagram, depicted the teens encircling a mixed race female student on the ground. White students were seen making up obscene gestures, while the girl on the ground also raised her middle finger towards the others behind her. District did contact the police and board members to notify them of the incident. Hmm. Parents are said to be outraged. The post is disgusting and amounts to a hate crime. I'm ashamed and embarrassed. My husband is one of two, maybe three African Americans in this town. I'm afraid that if I speak out too much, it could affect my job or my small business. One woman told East Idaho News in an interview, Atlanta Black Star, being as though your husband is only one of two, maybe three, I am worried about her small business, her job, and maybe other things. One mother stated that she is considering withdrawing her children from the district, fearing that the children responsible for staging the racially offensive photo will go unpunished. Reason there's hate in this community is because no one takes action, period, mother said. These kids are old enough to know right from wrong. Parents need to do better, but you can't solely blame the parents for this. As some of them are 18, they're adults. It's disturbing. According to Troy Easterday, the superintendent of Salmon School District, the students were not, do I have to say? The students were not maliciously trying to promote an anti black agenda. What he had to say. Salmon School District does not condone. Here's this soup again, Mayor. I'll get through it. Word soup. School District does not condone and has never condoned what was expressed on social media today. Disciplinary action has been taken, the superintendent stated. He also mentioned that the district's administrative team is investigating the post and will keep the community informed within the bounds of the law regarding this provocative incident. The school has contacted the police and board members, the okie doke in Idaho. That's what you just heard there, okay? I'm not there, but I can tell you right now, punished, yeah, right, okay? Well, community, I know these kids, wasn't malicious. Punished, yeah, right, we'll keep the community posted. On what black person anonymously spoke to the paper? That's probably what you'll keep them posted on. She'll get hers. Am I being too tough, Mayor? Kids are kids. Yeah, and I think uh, kids are also uh, responsible at this age, right? Like this idea that um, you can spell out that word and the, the authority in the school can say you're not malicious. And if you look at the letters in that word, that is not N-I-G-G-A, the, the way that it's used mm-hmm. in, in hip hop culture. That is the E-R on that word, implying something that historically we know what it meant. We, and actually still right now, we know what it means. So this, this is absolutely disgusting that, a, that a, no investigation needed. We know they weren't malicious because we know these kids and these are not our kids. It is absolutely ridiculous. But if you pay attention to the comment from the person who didn't want to give their name, There's a history in this town. She said the reason racism exists in this place is because nobody wants to say anything. We're talking about in a state where black people are 1.5% of the population, Idaho. You better know people are extremely comfortable in this space showing up in this manner. These kids made these shirts, worked these shirts. The entire, the thought that went into this and the sad part, the self-hate of the young lady laying on the ground. Her parents need to get her therapy as soon as possible. This idea that you can be accepted by your peers by making fun of your blackness, even though you are half, is absolutely ridiculous. And and the fact that you would sit through this and be a part of this this ridiculousness does not discount the harm, does not make it less malicious. 
We know there are plenty of black people throughout history that went along with white supremacy, i.e. it was black people that told on Harriet Tubman. It was black people that raided, helped the FBI raid the Black Panthers Party. So we know it's always a few that are willing to sell out their souls and community for the betterment, the better, the betterment of white supremacy. This young lady needs help because she's on that path right now. And that principal, that supervisor or superintendent needs to be released of their job because you already show that you're biased against what your black students are going through. Mm -hmm. Doing what the community wants you to do and dump out your soup with this nonsense about what you don't condone because you do condone it and you did condone it. And these kids are self starters. That's the best I can say about them, Mayor, when you talk about the thought, the input. I mean, they had to plan this out and execute it and the only reason anybody's even making these these baseless statements, okay, is because it was on the internet. That's all. And they need to shut it down. They need and want to shut it down with, I think he said 1.5% black people. I don't know why they're hating. There's so few black people. Why not eat your potatoes? Go to the festivals? Why are you targeting black people when there's days that go by where you probably don't see one?